welcome back and still with Nile Cruz and of course the youth are the leaders of tomorrow they are the cornerstone of any uh, society and they are the hope and the future and uh, on this occasion we are joined uh, with one of the leaders of tomorrow Omar Khaled and he's going to talk to us about a new project that was launched recently in the Cairo University hello Omar and welcome to our show thank you Thank you very much for joining us and um, would like at the beginning to um, you know, catch a glimpse of you know, the initiative and uh, where did it come from and the background about it. Okay, basically we started two years ago uh, in the Faculty of Economics and Political Science. Um, our name is the Leaders of Tomorrow and um, our main goal is making a new generation of uh, st uh, university students that will be graduates after that that are aware of the political issues and um, be able to, to uh, participate in the political life more efficiently and based on facts. And Okay, um, of course as a youth you have lots of ambitious and um, lots of things going on in your mind. But why you chose the political field to go on? Because it's very promising in Egypt. Um, uh, in few years from now, we're going to have uh, the local council's elections, and um, that's our mission. The youth um, or the young people, they should participate in that. We should be uh, governing the local uh, areas, um, make sure that the services are uh, delivered in the right way to the people. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to learn how do these people work. Um, and actually. Uh, not just the, the, the local councils, uh, we're starting from the presidency uh, till the cabinet and the, uh, till the local councils. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, leaders of tomorrow, you know, the, the, the topic and the subject, you know, sounds like uh, a great initiative, you know, looking for the, the future maybe and, uh, and a promising outlook to have uh, those young, you know, prepared for leadership roles and prepared for the skills and competencies for, uh, you know, future leaders, like you mentioned. Uh, in your opinion, what does it take to make a future leader and uh, how to transform a youth uh, in the young age to become, you know, a potential leader in the future? Well, basically, it's knowledge. Uh, first of all, it's knowledge, like, um, uh, we have to know the problems around us. Uh, the issues that we're facing uh, and we need to make solutions for them based on what we studied uh, back in the university or what we learned in life in general uh, and creativity of course and also commitment that's that's the most important thing okay there's a conference is going to take place tomorrow yeah um, for your project so please tell us more about this conference all right the conference is um, basically that's that's the last thing that, that we're going to do this year um, a lot of people will attend, uh, including ministers and parliament people and um, ex-ministers. A lot of people are coming and uh, basically it's all about we're acting like the government and the government is coming to watch us doing this. Like we're going to have a president, uh, full cabinet, everybody's talking about his program and uh, the issues that we're facing and suggested solutions for them. It's a, it's a like uh, the MUN? Like simulation, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you can say it's like MUN, but it's more Egyptian way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And um, how, how do you see, you know, uh, those young, uh, you know, youth and their challenges in the upcoming period? You know, this transformation takes a lot. Uh, there is a lot of, like you mentioned in the beginning, it's, uh, it's basically all about knowledge. And yep. uh, it's also about, you know, understanding where you are and where you're heading. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of aspects behind this, the challenges that you can face in order to have this transformation happening. Yeah. Do you think, what is the, the challenge? Is it like the mental challenge to understand and have the capacity of mind to understand more about, uh, you know, leadership roles and, and the skills? Or is it about other aspects uh, that you see in the ecosystem? Well, of course, it's, uh, it's about uh, knowing um, or having the skills of being a leader. Uh, but also, um, we have many, many challenges in Egypt in the, um, now and the coming period of time, including economics, uh, like the economy, we have to fight a lot in this uh, aspect. And in the political transition, um, actually it's over the political transition, but we're trying to make um, a new type of governance in Egypt to be uncentralized. Um, now it's centralized, 
all the, uh, all the decisions are taken in the cabinet, very centralized in Cairo, but we're trying to m uh, give more powers to, um, to the local areas and the governorates. Uh, this is a plan for the future, and we're just trying to cope with this plan, so when it's implemented, we're there. Yes. Of course, w when you're making a new project or a new idea, you face many challenges. What are the challenges that you face personally? That I face personally or the organization? Both. Okay, uh, the organization first. Uh, we faced a lot of difficulties, including the financing. Uh, we're just some students in the faculty and we thought about let's make uh, some kind of activity to do blah 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 and we don't have any source of finance so that was the first uh, concern uh, but we're getting through this somehow uh, How? Um, support from the university uh, from the faculty um, actually we have many sponsors um, our main sponsor is the uh, national bank of egypt and uh, Ma'at Organization for Peace and uh, Human Rights. Uh, so, yeah, we're making some partnerships to, to survive. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, usually, you know, youth, when they come up with ideas, they uh, think about, you know, supporting the community. Uh, they, they think about ideas maybe far away from what you're thinking. You're thinking of, you know, the future. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's entirely different uh, to be having, you know, this vision of looking on how to transform the skills uh, into uh, future leaders. Uh, where did the idea come from, you know, to focus on the leadership aspect you know, and turn you and, you know, uh, this young group into leaders in the future? Uh, okay, the idea came from, uh, from what we're seeing every day. Like, we're seeing where we're living. We know that we have a lot of problems and um, it's our role to participate and solve these problems. So, since we are students in uh, Faculty of Economics and Political Science, so that's, that's our main concern or our main topic of study. So we thought maybe we should be specialized in that, we should do this. Yeah. There's a trend nowadays, um, most of the youth uh, wants to travel abroad and to start and begin their life. How about you? How about me? I don't want to do that. Um, look, um, we all know the negatives that we're having in Egypt and everything but um, if we're not gonna fix it it's not gonna be fixed and if we believe it's not gonna be fixed and just leave it will never be fixed as well so I think I don't want to go outside Egypt I just want to live here work here and build my life here and, yeah yes. um, I'd like to ask you also about you know away from the scope of the initiative um, there is a lot of youth, you know, coming up, you know, with uh, with ideas and trying to implement it. Uh, do you think these are, you know, successful ideas to uh, be, you know, uh, consistent for the future? You know, having those programs turns turns out to be a project or a national project or an NGO, for example. Do like, you see this happening? Like our, uh, like our or initiative, others, or, or people who want to participate in, in no the others. Maybe your initiative, the plans, maybe to transform it into a consistent thing that turns okay. into a, you know, maybe a national project. You said yeah. uh, you have uh, local banks and supporting it. Yeah. How about you know we're reflecting this and scaling it to other universities and other areas and so on and so forth. Well. Um, Let's talk more about uh, the idea itself. The idea of having such activities is, um, is, is very good because uh, we don't need every people to, to participate in our um, uh, activity, but everybody needs to make their own uh, activity according to their area of specialization. Like we are, we are economists and politicians, for example, so we do this. Like, uh, but if engineers, for example, have another idea to make new things in the country or, um, or in their fields, uh, that will be great. So overall, the idea is amazing. Yeah. After the 25th of revolution, people are more indulged in politics. Yeah. Did you feel that uh, while working with your colleagues uh, at the university? Of course, yeah. But uh, the thing is, it's all based on personal, uh, personal ideas or personal judgment, which can be wrong or right, of course. Uh, what we're trying to do is make it more committed to um, the real ground, what we really have, or, or what we really face, the problems that we really face. Um, and we don't just do this on the, um, uh, in the offices or just conversation with each other. Uh, 
actually we go to the field like in Bula for example we uh, we did many activities there and uh, we participated in the uh, Orphans Day we do uh, many activities to 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 be on the ground uh, with our ideology yes uh, finally I'd like to ask you about you know um, your aspirations your dreams you know how are you planning to turn maybe this initiative to uh, a global one or a national one uh, what, what, is, what is what is what is your dreams what is your aspirations uh, okay our dreams is um, when we graduate uh, as as we just said uh, that uh, in few years we're gonna have this local elections um, our dream is to make this idea happen uh, come true because this is a huge change in the political system of Egypt and uh, we want to make people ready to uh, to work in this change and make it happen and succeed Right. Well, uh, Omar uh, Khaled, uh, one of the members of the uh, Leaders of Tomorrow in the Cannes University, thank you very much for joining us and welcome once again to uh, Nile Cruz. And uh, now we are moving to a conference, economic conference, uh, by our correspondent uh, Linda Abdelatif.